Hi everyone, welcome to Whole Artist Mastery. I'm Marianne Mitchell. I want to talk a bit about how we perceive ourselves as artists, how we feel about who we are as artistic souls, and how the rest of the world may perceive us, or how we perceive the rest of the world may perceive us. Um, this is coming out of having lots of recent conversations with both people who are working with me in individual programs as well as in Whole Artist Mastery Tribes and Wham Wednesday, which is a free uh, discussion time that I offer once a month on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. East Coast time. Um, about the um, various different kinds of emotions that come out of um, your deep desire to be um, to be making art and some of those emotions include guilt um, shame that you're an artist that in a family of um, scientists or CEOs, uh, accountants, and you're really the outlier and nobody understands you and nobody has ever given you the kind of support that you really need to flourish in that very precious artistic channel that we have special access to um, as artists. Um, scientists have special access to a different channel that allows them to do the work that they do and many people have you know a crossover between the two all of us actually have that capacity but some of us are um, you know really have this strong artistic um, need or need to communicate to create in an artistic kind of way or in a visual artistic kind of way and you know I've spent my life being one of these people and have for years really struggled with my inner perception or my inner um, self-identity as it relates to how the rest of the world perceives me and you know being an artist is kind of a marginal uh, occupation in our world. Uh, so many people I've talked to have said, you know, I really wanted to be an artist, but my parents wouldn't allow me to go to art school because, you know, you can't make a living being an artist. And so they've spent their life in other careers, fulfilling careers in many ways, but there's always been this piece of them that's been, um, unfulfilled or unheard and um, neglected and um, without celebration, both personally as well as how the rest of the people in their life see them. And um, I think, you know, there's, there's a sense that we are not enough or that what we're doing is not important and I've come to believe that that is a completely wrong notion um, wrong may be the wrong word that I've come to believe that what we are doing particularly those artists who are kindling whole energy by making work that is emotionally connecting and intellectually engaging through the physicality of the medium and when those three things are fully integrated there's this recognition of something whole that is indescribable uh, almost verbally and so by making work by kindling that energy and making work in that way we are actually bringing something extremely valuable to the world the world may be unaware of this, but it's important for us to be aware of it, for artists to be aware of it. And so how do we do this? I think that having personal time, having psychic space, 
being able to clear away the responsibilities and the expectations that we have for ourselves as well as those in our life may have for us or um, the the kinds of structures, social structures and scholastic structures that we exist in may expect us to be involved in a community in a certain way, religious uh, organizations um, that we are part of and the um, participation that is often implicitly expected when you're part of a group. Those things are so important and yet we feel guilty when we feel like what we really want to do is just spend the time in the studio and that we're afraid that the community that we're in might see us as selfish if we say you know, I'm unable to make the meeting today because I really need to be in the studio. I mean, that statement is one that most of us will be afraid to say because we know it will be completely misunderstood. And so the, that makes us feel like we're selfish or even, you know, the outside world might perceive us as being selfish. And so I really want to impart for you the great importance of understanding that selfish is um, a negative way of saying I need to have that psychic space in my life so that I can tap into that artistic je ne sais quoi, that, that channel that is without real explanation consciously so that I can bring that intangible world into the tangible world for those who wish to see it, for those who wish to experience that. I have the capacity to do that. Scientists and doctors and lawyers and everybody else in the world has their special capacity to bring into the world what they are bringing into the world, as do we as artists. And so that selfishness can be said in a different way. We can say that we are preserving our psychic space so that we can do what we need to do. We are um, thinking actually about our inner selves in a way as a tool to do what we need to do. Um, I've been listening to the Dan Harris 10% um, Happy, Happier Happiness, I can't remember the exact name of it. I think many of you will know what I'm talking about. Um, and he recently was talking with the Dalai Lama about uh, happiness and selfishness. And, you know, the upshot of that conversation is that it's really a two-way street, that it's a give and take, and that by being um, honoring yourself, you're able to give more. So by honoring that space that you need to create the art that you're compelled on a deep level with inside yourself to make, you're able to give more to the world, thereby being as selfless as you possibly can be. So I hope that this has been helpful to, um, to shift your perception of yourself, to wash away guilt and feelings of um, lack, that what you do is less important than your siblings or your friends who are in the PhD world or um, solving world problems, you know, all those things are absolutely crucial to the betterment of society. And what you're doing as an artist is also crucial to the betterment of society. So I hope this has been helpful for you and thanks so much for listening. I invite you to go to my website, Whole Artist Mastery. There you'll find a free booklet. You just put in your email and it will, you can download. There'll be some various things in there, one of which is the treasure hunt, which helps you discover who you are on all these different levels 
that then helps you understand what your inner voice or what the platform, what the foundation of your inner voice of expression is. Um, all kinds of online classes, in-person classes. If see seeking on a much deeper level, if you're seeking um, guidance and opening up from inside, then I really believe, I know this to be true, that the individual whole artist mastery mentorship programs are truly transformative, truly transformative for everyone who's taken one. I know that to be um, a factual statement from my long history of working with people. Lots of different opportunities for you. I look forward to seeing you here again. Thanks very much.